All right, I knew that this day was going to come eventually where I had to share with you the products that I've been gatekeeping. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome in general. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some products that I have been unintentionally, but still kind of gatekeeping. These are all products that I use daily. These are non-negotiable, absolute game-changing products for me that I love and I just, I don't know, they just haven't come up in videos or I've talked about them like here and there but not that often and so I wanted to dedicate this video solely to products that I feel are so worth it. So if you wanna see more roundups of products that I absolutely love and that I've been just using and not really in a, a testing capacity necessarily, give this video a thumbs up so I know and we can kind of continue this, make it into a series. Maybe I can try out some of the products you've been gatekeeping. Or I don't like I don't want to accuse you of gatekeeping, but I mean if there's some good products, I'm all ears. I'm just staring at all the products here, very excited and not knowing where to start. I feel like I need to categorize them. I need to lump them into categories. You know what? We're gonna start with skincare. We're gonna start with the skincare category of products. These are products that I am obsessed with, and I actually bought extras of most of these products because I don't want them to sell out. First, because it's summertime, I want to start with a sunscreen. This is by Clarins and it is their UV50 sunscreen multi-protection. A lot of brands have been coming out with a bunch of different types of sunscreens and different consistencies. Some are tinted so they don't give a white cast and some are glowy, but this one just jumps out to me and it's one that I keep going for because my skin Flawless. As an SPF of 50, it's oil free, it is translucent, but when you put it on, my skin looks like that healthy glow. I, like, I don't even think it's a, like supposed to necessarily, because there have been some sunscreens, actually one I'm gonna talk about next, that intentionally have some glow factor to them, but this one, it's just there and it's beautiful. It doesn't have any graininess to it, it's not difficult to kind of absorb into your skin. It looks beautiful on its own, but also under underneath makeup, it layers well. Like, I don't know why anyone isn't talking about this more because it's so good. Obsessed, obsessed with this. Next up is a body sunscreen. And this one is by Kopari. Kopari? I think I, I really enunciated the O there. This is their Sun Shield Body Glow. This one is also SPF 50. It is more of an oil. It has these nourishing oil elements to it, but it is a water and sweat resistant. And I find that the amount of shimmer in here, like you can see, it looks really glowy and pretty, um, but I don't find it to be sparkly. I find sometimes with these types of products, it just like, you put it in, you're like, ooh, and then it dries and you're like, oh, it's glitter. This one, it just goes on and it feels very hydrating and it also gives this little bit of a glow factor to it. So I've been wearing it a lot in the summer and I just think it looks beautiful and it's easy to put on. I get the hydration element too. So it's like a double whammy, but this is awesome. I just, I really like it. Next is an enzyme powder. And I think this went through a phase where a lot of people talked about this in I don't know, 2017, 2018? But since then, I haven't really heard anyone talk about it. And so I wanna talk about it because it is that good. My skin looks and feels flawless after this. It is the Tatcha The Rice Polish. It's the classic one and it's a powder. This could be so messy. Oh, I'm so sorry you have to see this. I actually keep this in my shower, which is why it's kind of all powdery because I am trying to juggle it and put it on the side of my hands are all wet. Anyway, you put a small amount of the powder into your hand. You mix it with a little bit of water, depending on how exfoliating you want it to be. And then you massage it into your skin. And afterward, oh my goodness. There are few exfoliating products that I have found, honestly, that make as big of a difference in terms of the feel of my skin. It's night and day. I don't fully understand what's in here. I mean, like rice for sure, but every single time I'm always impressed with how my skin feels after. It is so good. It's gonna be a trend for this video. I'm gonna get very excited about these products. I'm warning you in advance. And because it's an exfoliant, because it's a powder, and because it you don't need to use it all the time, it lasts forever. And I just, I can't, can't sing the praises enough about this. I now wanna share with you an eye mask and I'm hesitant. I did just order some more because they're very, very good. Like very good. And I'm, 
I don't want them to be gone, <laughs> but I'm going to share it because you deserve to know. We all deserve to have beautiful under eyes. They are by Shiseido and it's the Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. So these are a retinol mask. So you put them on your eyes. Sometimes I will do it in the morning. You have to put on SPF after, very important. Or after I've cleansed my skin at night, they look like this. You just, I mean, they, they don't look like this, but the package looks like this. And you just pop them on underneath the eyes and afterwards my skin, skin under my eyes it looks brighter it doesn't seem to crease as easily it's got this nourishing element to it as well as the retinol which is going to help to keep your under eyes like from developing fine lines and things like that. You can also use them around the mouth to soften any smile lines if you wanted to. And they're really easy to put on. They're not a, like a silicone, they're more of a fiber in sort of how they look and feel. And so they don't slide around very easily. They feel great. And I have repurchased these like countless times. I can't even, I can't even tell you. It's my treat to myself buying these, but they are fantastic. If you are looking for something to treat yourself with and kind of smooth out the under eye area, highly recommend. Moving right along into another mask. This is by SkinCeuticals. This is their hydrating B5 mask. It is again, one of those splurge skincare items that I keep going back to because it makes such a difference in my skin. If you are new to SkinCeuticals, they are a cosmeceutical um, brand. They use pharmacy grade ingredients to my understanding. They are a higher quality brand and I find for any of the products that I have tried from them, I find that they truly do work and they make a significant difference in my skin. You can buy them online, but they are ones that are sold out of like a, a medical spa or a dermatologist's office, things like that. And this one has a high concentration of a hyaluronic acid and I love hyaluronic acid. My middle name should be hyaluronic acid. And so what I'll do is I will cleanse my skin and then while my skin is like mildly damp, I will put this on because I find that with hyaluronic acid, you want your skin to not be fully, fully dry when you're putting on, it just, it, it dries it out more. And so I'll put it on and if my skin is dehydrated, it will like tingle a little bit. So it, I can I can feel it working. And then you leave it on for 10, 15 minutes, you kind of pat in the excess, go to bed, you wake up glowing skin. It is unreal the difference that this has made in my skin and it just makes it plumper fresher glowier and it stays hydrated which is fantastic so i will use this maybe once a week or so and um yeah it's again a little, little treat for myself and then before we go into hair care because i have we have to talk about hair for a second i do want to make a mention of a brush that i've been using for my self tanner if you don't know i love love a good self tanner. I am not this shade naturally. Not that I don't love my pale shade. It's just my pale shade for whatever reason um, makes me look ill. Anytime I go anywhere, people are like, are you okay? I'm like, fine, just having self tanned everyone. So anyway, this brush is by Isle of Paradise. I got it from Sephora. I actually tested it for a video probably in the last, I think the last two months. And I have been using this every single time that I do my self tanner, primarily for areas like my elbows or my hands, anywhere that I get, I tend to get very dry and the self tanner tends to like sit into those dry patches, like eczema spots. And this just helps to disperse the product more evenly. It doesn't catch. I mean, obviously I'll still moisturize my hands and elbows and everything first, but this I find is a much better way of applying to those like particular areas for me. And you can use it all over too. It is long enough. I don't find it's um, cumbersome. I find some brushes is just like, you're trying to go and you're like, oh my gosh, when is this gonna be done? Because it's too small. But this one is, it's a good, it's a good size. It's very soft, very easy to clean. I have had no issues with it whatsoever. And um, yeah, it's highly rated for a reason. Okay, now hair. So my hair had a phase of just damage and breaking off and just, just sadness all around. I think I've been just trying too many different hair products and different techniques and I was just like, I need to make it simple. So I kind of shifted to more of a basics approach to hair care because I find a lot of times right now, everyone's just like, put everything in your hair. And I'm like, my hair hates it. But I also wanted to introduce products that are gonna help from like a growth perspective. And so I've been testing one. I actually rebought another one. <laughs> I have it over here. I kept the empty one 
I don't, I don't know why. So I wanted to talk about the products I've been using that have been helping my hair to just, like I haven't straightened it at all, but I feel like it's shinier, it's healthier. It's just, I, I need to get it trimmed. So number one is the brand Ren Pure. It is their detoxifying charcoal deep cleanse shampoo. I have tried different shampoos. I have, I really, I've tried so many, but when I've been using other products, like my hair has been like, coming out you know when you go like this and you're like ah strands but this no it doesn't like at all at all this and the i will also use the conditioner from this as well it is not too heavy for my hair but it does have some moisturizing elements to it so it's not like completely drying it out and therefore you know breakage but it does cleanse my hair really nicely because i have very oily roots like this i just washed it this morning and it will be greasy by end of day so i am going to be re oh i haven't repurchased this yet don't buy it yet <laughs> some for me. I do need to buy some more of this um, because it just, it's been working for me right now, you know? The next product is a hair oil. And this is one that I use just on like the very ends of my hair or like these areas in the front that have kind of been breaking and I just want to kind of keep them <laughs> from breaking further. This is by Kerastase and this is the Elixir Illumin... Uh, Ultime. I don't know why I was going to say Illumine. Ult Ult Ultime. Ultime? No, Ultime. I think it's Ultime. It is this one right here. Look how pretty that bottle is. So pretty. It looks like I haven't even used any because I used like a half pump, if that. And I'll pull it through just like the very ends of my hair after I have washed it. My hair is wet still. Also sometimes use it when I have dry hair if I just want to kind of like smooth out some of the ends here. And it just makes my hair shiny, healthy. It doesn't weigh it down. It's not greasy. It's Really good, really love this. Now I wanna talk about the hair growth because my primary thing that I was trying to fix was like these areas right in the front that had like complete, like entire bald spot is what I was dealing with. And like there's still some like over here, there's like a little bit of like patchiness. So what I had done is I took the, this particular product and like dropped it in just to the front of my hair. And I just put some in, I'd massage it in and continued on my way. And then I noticed, and I took a picture of it, so I'm gonna show you guys, that my hair in the front was significantly longer than the rest of my hair. Like, it is wild how quickly this stuff works. And it is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density. So what I'll do is I will take a couple of drops, sometimes I'll put a drop here and a drop here and massage those in. And then I'll put a couple of drops into my hand and then kind of like work it through the rest of my hair when my hair is dry and, and clean, that's important. And I'll just massage it in. And I found that my hair is growing nicely now. It wasn't growing for a bit there. And the, the hairs are coming in more, like even these pieces that broke off like way up here, they're coming in like it's, made such a difference that I bought a second one. And so I'm going through that one now and I'm trying to be as consistent as I possibly can with it. Cause I think that's really important. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, the results speak for themselves. Like I had to literally get my hair trimmed at the front section of my hair <laughs> because it was so much longer than the rest of it. Plus the ordinary is not that expensive. I think, I don't know if they sell this one at Sephora. I think they do. Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> What am I talking about? I bought this one from Sephora. But the ingredients are fantastic. I find that it doesn't make my hair super greasy as long as I'm not using a ton because it's more of like a serum. It does dry down. Like at first you'll be like, oh no, my hair is so oily, but then it, it kind of dries and it's it's all better. And um, yeah, I, it works, it, at least for me. I just have to say that I miss doing these types of videos. Like just like hanging out, talking about stuff, being like passionate about products that really work. It's just, I don't know, I'm just, I like talking with you guys, it's like hanging out. But anyway, I wanna talk about some lip stuff next because you guys know I love the Laneige, um, the sleep mask, it's fantastic. I still continue to use that. But this one, um, I just recently, well not recently, maybe in the last three months, started using it. And this one actually seems to make my lips feel fuller, it seems to repair any dry spots or cracks very, very quickly. And I just keep reaching for it. It's one of those products where you're just, 
If you can't find it, you just keep hunting for it because you're like, I need it in my life. And it is by Lawless. It is their Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. It's very shiny, very glossy. It's just a really nice product and I put it on at bedtime and it really does make a difference. Okay, I feel like I've, I've been talking so much, but I, I, have, I have a couple more products and these are the makeup blends because we talk about makeup so much here that you guys know, you already know most of my favorites. And I mean, I will stand by them. They are fantastic. But there are a couple of ones that I just, I haven't really talked about too much, but I just keep using it even when I'm doing makeup, not not on camera. So the first one is by Wonder Beauty. This is their um, double date leap, leap and cheek. <laughs> their lip and cheek duos. So I have the red one and I also have this one. What is this? So we have uh, Rendezvous and Be Mine. But the duo is that they have this really pretty like color, right? But then on the bottom, it's more of like a gloss. I'll swatch the other one too, so you guys can see. That's the, the one I have. I have this one on right now. It's more of like this orangey shade. But then underneath, it's like a little, little gloss action. So I will use it as a highlight or I will use it on my lips. It comes with like a little mirror. These are beautiful. They blend out beautifully. They give such a really pretty flushed look to the skin. And I feel like they don't get enough love. In the, in the beauty community. I, I really like them. And then a lip pencil. This is, I've tried so many lip pencils and I find for me at least, a lot of times they are too brown or too dark or too pink, too gray. They just, they don't really hit the mark for me. And this one is one I just, I keep going back to because I find it to be just like a really nice shade for me. I like more, neutral, but skewing a little bit more peachy toned lip liners, but I need it to be light enough for me. And this one is just, it fits the bill and it's so good. It is by Koki Cosmetics. It is their Velvet Smooth Lip Liner in Light Nude, which is the shade uh, 540. So it looks like this. I know, I know, it's just, it's a neutral lip, but like it's light enough for me. And so I will just, it doesn't, you can see, it's not really moving, which is great, but the color is so perfect. It's just like such a soft look. And so I will put that on, pat on some gloss on top, or I'll use like another one of my favorite, you know all my favorites by now, but I don't really talk about this as sort of the first step I will use a lot of times, especially when I'm filming all my cooking videos. This is usually the first step in any of those like more neutral lips that I choose and I love it. I just, I love it. It's a beautiful shade. Next up is a makeup sponge. And this is one that every time I use it, people are like, what is that? I need to know what it is because it looks very unique. And it's something that I keep going for. And I just, I personally really love them. It's the Stands Out Beauty sponge. This is their makeup sponge. It looks kind of like a diamond. You've probably seen me use them before. I got, I have a new one here so you can see as well. Cause they do kind of yellow over time. This one is super old because <laughs> all of the ones that I have, are currently being washed. I have to show you an old grimy one and a brand new one so you can see the difference. But these things are great for your makeup. So I will use them obviously for foundation, for concealer, like you get right in under the eye super easily. Nice crisp line if you want. You have so much like space to work with. So you could do cream contour on one side, blush on another if you wanted, then foundation. Like it's so multi-purpose. It washes really well and you can also use it dry or wet because it's nice and moldable. It does say on the box to use it wet for the first three to five times that you use your sponge. But after that, you can totally use it dry and it's not a big deal, which is huge for me because I'm lazy. And so I see the sponges in my drawer and I'm like, I don't want to go and rinse mine. Don't want to put water on it. So I'm just going to use this because I know it's going to work really well. And it's like nice and soft. It's giant. It's just there's, it's such a good sponge. <laughs> so now I turn it over to you. Share in the comments down below some of the products that you've been sort of using a lot. I don't wanna say gatekeeping, I don't wanna cues, but something that you use very frequently that is just like, it's absolutely incredible that you need in your life and maybe we'll test it and we'll do like another video. I will test out the products that you absolutely love in your life. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know we can do that next. And check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic week and I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah.